Good morning. I am again at Technical University of Libres and as I promised you last week that I am going to meet with a special guest from the Technical University of Libres. She is the head of the international office. This video is important for all those students who want to study in Czech Republic specifically at Technical University of Libres. This video can be very useful for you. So let's start with the introduction from the head of the international office. Hello. My name is Linda Mareshova. I am currently the head of the International Office of the Technical University of Liberec. So at first, let me briefly tell you something about the university itself. The Technical University of Liberec was established in 1953. Uh, it's very strong in engineering fields. Uh, it started as the Faculty of Mechanical Engineering, uh, then the Faculty of Textile Engineering was added. Now we also have Faculty of Mechatronics, Informatics and Interdisciplinary Studies, but you can also study Economics or Arts and Architecture here. The university currently has over 6,000 students and about 10% of these are international. Uh, we also have 1,200 members of staff. So as you can see, the proportion of student staff is very friendly. And now we are going directly to the questions uh, from our subscribers. And the first question is why international students should study here and what is the benefit of studying in Technical University of Libras as compared to any other university? Well, first of all, let me start with saying that the Czech Republic as a whole is a very safe country for you to study. Uh, Libras as a city is very clean it's situated among, among mountains, so you'll find the environment uh, very comforting. The Technical University itself is not one of the biggest universities, so it's, it's got very friendly uh, atmosphere and we can uh, afford individual approach to students. Also, we are very proud that we have a lot of really modern and well-equipped laboratories where you can really work and research your projects yourselves. Uh, it's not just that you watch others do this, but you can really work there independently once you come. Uh, we also guarantee accommodation to all our international students, so that is a huge benefit. You don't have to, this to worry about. We also take part in international rankings, for example the THE ranking and the QS ranking, and you can uh, look up the results on our website. That's very good, and I think you have a lot of companies around Libres, which in future can be mm. the job opportunities for the students. Yes, definitely. Yes. And also the accommodation <coughs> service was uh, one of the best in the Czech Republic. Mm -hmm. And, and I, I think I lived there for five years. I can say it's uh, one of my best experiences in life. That's true, because our dormitories have won this special prize for the best dormitories in the Czech Republic. I think two years. Yes. For two years. Yes. So question number two, it is, uh, how is the admission process at any faculty and when the admissions actually open? Well, the admission process can be slightly different for each faculty. The most important thing for you is to uh, look up the program that you want to study on our website. Uh, under the description of each program, you will find the information about the application deadline and also the link to the online application form. So it's important first you apply online within the given deadline. Make sure that in the application you state your name and your contact details correctly so that we can really contact you. And it's also important to pay the application fee, otherwise we will not see you in the system. After that you will go through the admission process. It usually means a kind of test, an online test for the engineering field. It can be uh, also only a Skype interview, especially for economic, uh, economic programs. Uh, it, they, you can be required to send some materials, your CV and so on. You will get information about that once you apply. If everything works well and you pass these tests, you will get admitted. You need to go through the recognition process, the recognition of your previous education. Again, you have to apply for this. There's a detailed description about this process on our website, so I strongly recommend you look it up and read it. Uh, part of this process is also that you have to pay 
the nostrification fee, which is set by the government of the Czech Republic, so we, there is nothing we can do about the price of this. Uh, after that, we suggest that you apply for the visa, and we suggest that you do it as soon as possible, uh, so that you can be sure that you will get your visa just in the right time to come here. And of course, after that is the plane ticket or all the other information. By this time, you will have contact information and email addresses from a lot of our employees, so you will know who to write to. Okay, and I will keep the link of, uh, to con contact the international office at the mm -hmm. down, so you mm -hmm. can contact them directly. So now, question number three, does age matter to study in any of the programs at Technical University of Liberace? No, it doesn't. Of course, it doesn't matter at all. We also have PhD students who study at a much more advanced age. It's not really important. Yes, so and a lot of students mm -hmm. actually study here. And this question number four is from Bangladesh and they are saying that uh, we have to apply the visa from India and it can take longer. What happens if we don't get the visa on time and the semester starts? Yeah, it's a very difficult situation, I understand. First of all, I really recommend you apply for the visa as soon as possible, as soon as you know that you are really accepted to studies. Uh, if there are, despite this, any problems, I suggest you communicate with the faculty, with the study department here, and you inform them about the problems as soon as you know about them. And it is possible that they will let you start or they will let you arrive and start your studies here a bit later. Usually they tolerate two weeks, that's not a problem. They can extend this period for to up to one month. Uh, usually it's not possible to arrive after the last of October. It's because of a kind of uh, registering system here in the Czech Republic. By the end of October we will have to send the information about our students to the state registry. Individually, some changes could be acceptable, but that would have to be negotiated. Yeah. So, talk to your faculty and also when you get your visa, try to come as soon as possible. Don't waste any time over there. When you have the visa, come over here as soon as possible. And now we have the question that is a followed up of this question that will the tuition fees be returned if the visa is not granted? Mm -hmm. Now I would say this question doesn't really make sense because we usually ask our students to pay the tuition fee only after they arrive here. So when you arrive, you register at the faculty and you are asked to pay your tuition fee. So I think that's a big comfort actually that you don't have to pay it and you come over here in Czech Republic and then you pay. So this question is from India and Pakistan that can Technical University of Liberals request embassy to give the appointment early? Uh, and so that they can come over here as soon as possible. Yeah, after you are accepted, uh, the university can enroll you in this special student mode system. It means it's specially designed for students from abroad, for international students, and it means that we will send the information to the ministry and then the embassy will contact you themselves and they will set a date for the interview earlier hopefully. Uh, however, there's a kind of limit, there's a quote for the number of students that we can send here or, and who, can, who are accepted each month. So just you know, keep communicating, ask the study department of the faculty if they were able to register you for this system or if you have to apply for the visa by yourself. Okay. I think for India and Pakistan, we should be able to enroll the students there. Yes, and mm. I heard also a lot of students uh, know that mm. this uh, student mode exists and uh, university put their name in this system. Yeah. And this question is from Indonesia, it's from a woman that, is it a problem if I wear scarf and study in Czech Republic? No, it's not a problem at all. We have students who study here and wear scarves and we are used to this. I think I would like to add that the Czech Republic is a safe country for women to study and overall, yes, you can be... Yes, and we have a lot of students that. studying mm -hmm. like this here for last many years and there is no problem for it. Yes. And number eight question is from India, does food canteen offer vegetarian meals? Yeah, one of the dishes on offer is always vegetarian. If you don't like this warm meal, uh, there's always the salad bar which you can choose from where you can combine your own salad 
And we also have a canteen where you can buy a sandwich or something. So vegetarian yes. is not a problem. Exactly. And if you don't like any of this, you can always prepare at your dormitory and bring it to the yes. university. And many students eat over here by themselves with their own food, so you can do it. So now we go to the second last question. That can I change my faculty or program during studies? I think you can change your program, uh, but usually only after the first year of studies. Uh, with the faculty it will be more complicated, but I would say everything is possible. You just have to negotiate with the right people here. Okay, so it's possible to change it, mm -hmm. especially after one year, and uh, but talk to your faculties mm -hmm. uh, and it's possible. And now, the, please, can you explain me about the scholarships for international students and what are the Erasmus opportunities? Mm -hmm. Well, once you are a student here, you have the same rights as all the Czech students. So the faculty can offer a merit-based scholarship based on your study results. Another thing is special scholarships or rewards for pro research projects. Again, you will have to ask uh, the relevant people at the faculties, maybe the heads of departments. And then Erasmus, uh, you have the same rights as all the Czech students here. So once you are the student of the Technical University of Liberec, you are entitled to up to 12 months of scholarship to study abroad. It means to study at any other European university which we have uh, an agreement with. These 12 months you can use as you wish. You can go and uh, spend one semester studying at a different faculty, a different university, studying the same that you would study here in a different country. You can also go on traineeship, which means that you can find a company or an institute which is active in, in the areas that are important for your studies and do something practical there. And even just before you graduate, if you apply for this special alumni traineeship, you can go on Erasmus paid traineeship right after your graduation. So total during each study program you can spend 12 months uh, studying or doing traineeship abroad. And you will, pro you will be provided with a scholarship from the uh, Erasmus Plus program. Uh, the money is about 600 euros per month. Because so these 12 months are for each of your degree program. For bachelor degree if you are doing is 12 months and then again you get a 12 for master and then again for PhD 12? Yes, okay, that's so. how it works. Okay, and this is the last question. A lot of students ask this one. Does Technical University of Libres help inter international students to get a job after a degree? Well, th there is some help that we can provide. Uh, once a year, there is this tea forum, which is a job opportunity fair, where the representatives of many companies come, and then you can meet them, talk to them, and ask all the possible questions. We also have a career center situated at the Faculty of Economics. So if you contact them, they can help you with any career advice, you know, reviewing your CVs and helping you to write cover letters and so on. If you need help with the visas after that, we can also help you with, the, with this at the international office, of course. And I think you can get a visa for eight months after your degree completion mm -hmm. to find your job. Mm -hmm. Just and to I stay back here and look for a job. And look for a job. Yes, so I hope it cover all the questions you ask us and uh, we wish you a very easy journey to get your visa. Come over here, study and enjoy the life in the city Libres at Technical University of Libres. Yes, I strongly recommend that you try and once you come here and study you will experience and you will be as excited as Adnan here. <laughs> Thank you very much and bye bye. Goodbye.